Welcome. Casuals Blunder Diary 002. What? Which happens to be the third diary. Oh, okay. Viewpoints. By M. Casual Jocks. Each time I click my left mouse button, the red and white circle with the crosshair moves around. It moves me. It's called the 3D cursor. To be or not to be. Say you were to create a new cube. This cube would be created right where the 3D cursor is located. Hey, look there. A new cube. The 3D cursor can also be used as a pivot point. We could ask Blender to rotate this cube around the 3D cursor. Money makes the world go round, the world go round, the world go round. So what is this pink magenta square in the middle of the screen? You guessed it, it's a cube, and we're looking at it from a vantage point high up in the sky. I'm flying man, I'm flying. If I press my middle mouse button and move the mouse pointer, look what happens, we're moving the camera around. If you don't have a middle mouse button, you can press your keyboard's alt key while clicking your left mouse button. Okay, I can remember that. If you press the control key of your keyboard and press the middle mouse button and move the mouse pointer up and down, you get a zoom in zoom out effect. If you don't have a middle mouse button, you can press your keyboard's control and alt keys and click your left mouse button. Okay. Next if you press the shift key and click the middle mouse button and move the mouse pointer around, you get a pan effect. If you don't have a middle mouse button, use the keyboard's alt and shift keys with your left mouse button. Okay. You can jump to a predefined viewpoint using this menu. Here. View. Side. View. Front. View. Top. And view. Camera. Okay. Camera is the point of view from which all images and movies in Blender will be rendered. Rendered? We will explain rendering later on. Oh, okay then. The moment you start moving, when you're in camera mode, you fall into user mode. Let's do it. Let's just move a bit. Just a little bit. And let's check in the view selection. We're now in user mode. Oh boy. And if we zoom out using the control key and the middle mouse button, we can see this thing over here, which is, our camera. Our camera that we own. From which we moved away, there's another object in our 3D world. Let's rotate around and find it. Where is it, where is it? There, there it is. That's the light that presently illuminates our 3D world. Now let's move back to our camera's point of view. And let's click on the scene button which we could access using the F10 key. Okay. And we see a bunch of buttons appear. And we see a bunch of buttons appear. Remember how earlier we used the middle mouse button and the control key to zoom in and out? Yes. Well, we can do the same thing for the window containing the bunch of buttons. Really? As you can see, I can zoom in and zoom out. Okay. And if I only use my middle mouse button, I can pan around like this. Okay. So it's possible to zoom in on the render button which is what I want to show you. You show me. And, let's click on the render button and see what happens. Okay. And what you see here is our scene as rendered by Blender's internal renderer. Now this, is kind of neat. It's a clean scene, isn't it? It's a clean machine. So what we have here is our scene containing two cubes, as seen from the camera's point of view and as it is illuminated by our light source. Walk into the light. The process of computing this picture is called rendering. Well, how about that? Now we can safely close this window. Do not panic since its content is somewhere in our computer's memory. There's almost no chance we'll lose it. And we can save this image to our hard disk. Disco Disco Duck. Using this menu here. File. Save. Image. And we see something looking a bit like Windows Explorer, which we could use to browse through our hard disks. Okay. Let's say we want to save it on our D hard disk. We can type it directly here by hand by hand using a pencil. D colon backslash. Gross. And we can type here a name that we want it to be. Hey I have a great idea. Let's call it. 
Hey, let's call it whoopty doody doo. Two cubes two dot jpg. My name was better. And we perform the save operation using the save jpeg button. Whoopty doody doo was funny. And it's done. And we can see that something really happened. It's happening right now. By opening the new file with the paint program, 2cubes2.jpg in my D drive. And here it is. Wow, did you see that? A photo of a universe that exists only in the digital dimension. It's out of this world. And this concludes the third casual blender diary. Oh no. I will probably make just one more diary, then I'll stop. No way. Because there's tons of well-made tutorials at blender.org. Check it out, blender.org. Go in the info center. Then go in the using blender section, and it's all there, tons of tutorials. Okay. Live long and prosper. You too. The end. See you all soon.